as far as the idea of their focal points and they draw you to a certain point of view in a yard and as a result they anchor different views they become the the anchor and the cornerstone for so many other beautiful landscaping effects uh, that you're trying to create the canopy is a ceiling it's a ceiling full of color and texture and light filtration and seasonal density and by the way yeah don't tell me oh, okay well fine i'm gonna get a tree but only one that doesn't uh, drop its leaves because i don't like the mess trees don't make messes they make mulch a lot of you responded really positively uh, a few months ago when we did our how to prune a tree episode and i said trees don't heal they seal okay um that's true so here's the second one for your little scrapbook trees don't make messes they make mulch they're in the job of they're in the business of making mulch they drop their own leaves under their own canopy with the intention that those leaves eventually provide a mulchy atmosphere in which an environment in which they break down and become uh, bio-organic carbon fuel for everything that's going on in the soil then that benefits the tree okay so doorposts ceilings uh the architectural value of noise reduction positive sound inducement it's not just about hiding the traffic it's about the fact that when you sit and you listen to a tree not only the birds that are now nesting in it but the rustling of the leaves uh in the wind positive sound inducement added to the yard uh privacy oh my gosh 85 percent of homes in southern california need privacy in their back added to their backyard for two reasons one in order to control the narrative of what you're trying to create so that your neighbor whatever they do or don't do to their house isn't part of that narrative and number two privacy just straight up privacy get that guy who built the second story house in your previously first single story neighborhood now they're looking out over your backyard privacy and windbreak and shade. All right, I've got so much more to share with you. But when we return, let's go to the phones, shall we? Sounds good. You're home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. Your call's up next. Andrew Caravelle has the news. L.A. County says businesses large and small need to get ready for looser restrictions on June 15th. If all goes as planned, fully vaccinated employees who work indoors won't have to wear a face covering if everyone in the room is fully vaccinated. And if your employer provides N95 type masks, unvaccinated employees won't have to socially distance. Employers will also have to provide training on the effectiveness of vaccines. More rules will be announced by the 15th. Steve Gregory, King of News. Local state lawmakers and advocates have asked Governor Newsom to dedicate $30 million for food and housing needs caused by human trafficking. Senator Henry Stern wants the governor to add $10 million a year to the budget over the next three years to provide wraparound services for survivors. People in California, in our own backyards, who are living in human slavery. Assemblyman Miguel Santiago says hundreds of thousands of border crossers are trapped every year. These are people who are stolen against their own will and forced to do the most horrific of things. Actress and advocate Mira Sorvino says it's another pandemic. There are at least 30 million people in the world living in some state of labor or sex trafficking. The group says 70% of people trafficked are females and 50% are children. In L.A., Corbin Carson, KFI News. Lawmakers in Florida are fighting with the CDC over permission to get the cruise industry restarted. Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez says they're ready to go back in front of a judge. The CDC is requesting more time. I don't know what they need more time for. They've already ruined hundreds of thousands of lives with this moratorium. No sale order that they have in place. The state is arguing, arguing the federal government is overstepping its bounds by telling operators to have 95% of its crew and passengers passengers vaccinated to avoid test cruises. The 153rd running of the Belmont Stakes will take place today. The race returns to its traditional spot as the third leg of the Triple Crown after being the first race to run last year due to the pandemic. There will be no Triple Crown this year because Kentucky Derby winner Medina Spirit has been disqualified from a failed drug test. Odds makers have named Essential Quality as a favorite to win the Belmont Stakes, which at one and a half miles is the longest race of the Triple Crown. Let's go ahead and take a look at a crash on the five. 
Downey on the northbound traffic at five, just for the 605. All lanes remain shut down here due to this crash. They're letting you through in the center divider, but really heavy delays starting at Norwalk Boulevard. Crash working in Santa Monica as well. West side side of the 10 before Bundy. Two right lanes shut down here. Back up to about Overland Avenue now. And in uh, Torrance on the southbound side of the 405, Normandy Avenue to Avalon Boulevard. It's two right lanes that are shut down by Caltrans till around 10 o'clock. Montana, northbound 15, Sierra Avenue to Glen Helen Parkway. A rotating closure in place all weekend long. That's got you back up starting around Summit Avenue. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert DeBucky. Rear passengers enjoy the so you're ready to build your dream kitchen, great. Your first move should be a totally free in-showroom consult with my friends at the kitchen store. You need to sit down with a qualified expert kitchen designer, get their wisdom, get their creativity going for you. And you need to do it while you're sitting in the kitchen store's 7,000 square foot cabinet design show, the largest cabinet design showroom in Southern California, full of uh, information and inspiration. So. The kitchen store right off the 405 in Culver City. It has been and still is for more than 50 years the best place for kitchen cabinets in all of SoCal. State of the art computer design, 12 months same as cash financing, pricing that beats the big box home centers. Start your kitchen right. Get your free consult today by dialing 310 Kitchen. That's 310 Kitchen. And check out the kitchen store on the web at 310kitchen.com. Southland weather from KFI, low clouds and fog clearing in the afternoon, highs from the mid to upper 60s at the beaches to the mid 70s to around 80 metro LAOC, southwest winds around 15 miles per hour. In the valleys and inland empire, highs in the mid 70s to lower 80s. We lead local, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom, I'm Andrew Caravella. Last year there was a victim of identity theft every three seconds. A criminal could be spending your money, applying for loans in your name, damaging your credit, even selling your personal information on the dark web, the hidden part of the internet where the bad guys buy and sell hidden information, your information. And you can miss certain threats to your identity by just checking bank accounts and monitoring your credit. That's not enough. LifeLock Identity Theft Protection sees the threats you could miss if you're only monitoring your credit and alerts you if they find something that could be suspicious. Plus, if you become a victim of identity theft, they will work to fix that problem from start to finish. Now, no one can prevent all ID theft or monitor every transaction, every business, but LifeLock, that's protection. Save up to 25% off your first year. Call 800-LIFELOCK, promo code handle, 800-LIFELOCK, promo code handle, or visit LifeLock.com, promo code handle, LifeLock.com, save up to 25% off your first year, promo code HANDLE. Rick Edelman, number one New York Times best-selling author and founder of Edelman Financial Engines, takes questions on his radio show. Hi Rick, I have a pension and can take it as monthly income or a lump sum. Which do you think is better? Well, the monthly check is only as safe as your employer's ability to pay it. And the amount will never rise, so inflation will erode its value. You have no access to the principal, and when you die, the money stops, even if you die tomorrow. So we usually recommend the lump sum. You get to invest the money however you want and generate your own income. You have full access anytime, and whatever's left over goes to your spouse or kids. But for some workers, the monthly option is better. So you should meet with a financial advisor to be sure that you're doing what's best for you. That's Rick Edelman, founder of Edelman Financial Engines, with his advice on pensions. If you have a personal finance question, talk to an experienced financial planner at 888-PLAN-RICK or visit rickedelman.com. American Vision Windows, SoCal's choice for energy-efficient windows and doors. AmericanVisionWindows.com Live, KFI, local, AM640, and iHeart Radio Station. AM640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Your home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. We're talking trees today. People are getting stirred up about the trees. I'm glad. I'm glad. Get stirred up. Get riled. Lose sleep over it. People are sending us a lot of emails, a lot of messages, a lot of comments. You got this uh, um, uh, truth check, Dean. Truth check, please. Did you just say 
that you planted five trees in your yard just a few years ago, and now they're all feature trees? Come on. Like, all right. Yeah. Hey, I always tell you the truth. Don't I? I always tell you the truth. I am not exaggerating. Uh, you want to hear why? Yeah, it's just been a few years. I don't know how many years it's been. What? Uh, seven, eight, eight, not even, right? Six, five, four, three. No, right. It's about five years, right? Uh, okay, we didn't buy them as little saplings in five-gallon containers. We bought them, I don't know, what did we spend? Like $150 for each one, right? California sycamore, my friend. Sycamore. Native to Southern California, drought tolerant, big, beautiful, deciduous trees. So what does that mean? It means even when the weather's warmer than I want it to be in the fall, my trees start to lose their leaves and it feels like fall. And right now, they have come back when I need the shade, right when I need it, boom, they are covered in big, beautiful green leaves and they will be for months now. California sycamore, fastest, now uh, maybe I'm, I'm going to... Uh, and more. One of the fastest growing trees uh, in Southern California, period, right? Up to three feet a year. Uh-huh. All right. Just saying. And we have an ash tree that was like the size of a weed when we first bought the house and now is uh, about 60 feet tall. It's true. It's so true. All right. Uh, to the phones. Bill, welcome home. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thanks. Hey, love the topic today. I had a ficus tree that got too big for where it was located. Specifically, it was right next to a cinder block wall. We took it down to a stump. About a year later, the wall started developing a crack that was caused by uplift near the stump. Uh, last yeah. week, we ground it down and uh, clearly saw a root that went between the footing and the base of the wall. Uh, the roots seem very moist and alive. Can you can you enlighten me as to what was going on here and how do I remediate it? Uh, well, what's going on is that uh, ficus trees are tenacious fighters. Ficus trees have been known to re-sprout uh, shoots from stumps, from uh, uh, subterranean root balls, and even leftover roots. And so. What you've got going there is a tree that just really wants to keep on going. The life of the tree is still uh, you know, rolling around down there in the depth of the earth uh, in its root ball. Um, without, you know, I'm, I'm waxing poetic, not scientific, but that's in fact the truth as far as what that is, is going to be. Now, if at this point you have ground out the stump, then it's very likely that you're going to uh, shut down the situation. Although, uh, the root uh, is, uh, if it's still moist, uh, it may have uh, other thoughts. And it may actually be getting uh, moisture directly from the moisture that develops in the block wall. Because as you know, if you listen to the show, concrete is a, it's a sponge. It's a stone sponge. It holds moisture. The root may be enjoying that. So there may be, and I don't know what to recommend to you, uh, I will only tell you this, uh, whether you call a certified arborist or a tree trimming service, there may be a chemical um, a solution in order to uh, shut that root down, uh, but something should, because it sounds like you've got a ficus tree that just really wants to be there and it wants to keep coming back. And as a result, uh, it's giving you problems. As far as remediating what's happening on the block wall, whatever uplift has happened, you either have to live with it, or you're going to have to rebuild the block in that area uh, once the uh, the root issue has been dealt with. There's really uh, it's not likely that the root will just die, disintegrate quickly, and the blocks will settle back into place. Once it's been lifted, it's kind of cracked things. Uh, Bill, thank you so much uh, for your call, buddy. Diane, welcome home. Thank you. Um, I live in a townhouse, and my kitchen floor, which is around that porcelain tile has been lifting up with no known cause. There hasn't been a leak. I think it started around the refrigerator, but there apparently hasn't been water leaking from there either. And so I have to replace the floor, and I'm not sure if I should go with uh, porcelain tile again or the luxury vinyl or laminate. 
I'm concerned about the VOCs that they say are getting uh, much more power and laminate. Okay. I wouldn't recommend laminate at all for the kitchen area. Uh, laminate is just, it, it's underbelly. It, it, I mean, it wears well on top, but it's underbelly. is so sensitive to moisture that uh, you don't want to go with the laminate. Now, whether or not you go back with porcelain tile, again, on the floor, or uh, luxury tile, which is a floating floor and completely impervious to moisture, uh, that's really, uh, Diane, going to be up to you uh, and up to the look that you want. The, the question as to whether or not there's something wrong with the floor with porcelain oh, tile, it really, you know, porcelain tile shouldn't uplift e even if there is a slab leak uh, because, um, you know, the, the mortar compound that's holding porcelain to the slab, it's all just cement on cement on cement. And if it's bonded well, it will actually activate and cure more of uh, the more moisture that's in the slab. So unlike hardwood or anything like that, uh, you know, porcelain tile is kind of a no-brainer, especially for a high-moisture area, because it's bomb-proof in that regard. I would suspect that, uh, and I don't know when it was done or who did it, but I would suspect that the porcelain tile in your kitchen uh, was, in fact, probably laid too dry on too dry of a slab. And uh, and so then this is a mistake that sometimes happens when handy people do a job or even when contractors are in a hurry. Uh, because stone, because concrete is a, a, a moisture sponge, uh, we have to moisten the concrete with a, uh, a wet sponge or a damp sponge uh, as we are laying uh, uh, tile onto a slab. You want to keep that concrete moist because what we don't want is for the water content that's in the mortar underneath the tile uh, to be sucked out by the slab because that mortar needs that water content to cure completely and to cure completely means it becomes the strongest possible adhesive so when you lay fresh mortar onto a bone dry slab uh unbeknownst to anyone you won't notice it and i mean it all lays down exactly the same it all looks great but unbeknownst to anyone that dry slab is sucking too much water out of the uh, mortar mix and as a result weakening the mortar mix which may result in after a few years, piles all of a sudden just starting to let loose and uh, pop up and the whole floor feels like it's failing when obviously you don't have a leak. So just a little FYI as to why that is likely happening. Uh, a bad mortar mix um, on behalf of the contractor or bad application. That's why craftsmanship is such an important part of this overall equation for your home. But that's how it happens. I wouldn't be afraid of putting porcelain back just make sure you got the right person doing it the right way. All right, my friends, more uh, when we return. You're home with Dean Sharp, the House Whisperer. Andrew Caravella has the news. Five e-bikes and eight scooters have been donated to several struggling families and Children's Hospital of OC Autism Program. L.A. County health officials say they will use guidance from Cal OSHA to determine how businesses will operate when things open up a little more on June 15th. And the state of Kentucky is giving away $3 million in 15 college scholarships to try and get people to get vaccinated. We'll, took it, we'll take a look at the 10 freeway next. So we have sitting on our dining room table a beautiful spread of uh, pussy willow branches and uh, some orchids. And I don't know what else Tina's got going in there. But I, what I love about it is that... I sit next to it every morning uh, while we're eating breakfast. It's just the most beautiful floral arrangement on our table. What I especially love about it is that it's been there for a long time now. Uh, why? Because they're silk flowers. But I can't tell the difference when I sit right next to it. That's because they come from Aldecombe, the highest source of uh, utterly lifelike silk flowers in the country, right here in our backyard in Van Nuys. You know what else Aldix got going on right now? Uh, the best patio furniture on the planet. I, honestly, you got to sit in this stuff, see it. You're not going to settle for anything less than summer classics furniture at Aldix Home. Teak, weatherproof, wicker, extrudal, whatever your style is. All made to order to your specifications in over 140 fabrics and colors. No matter where you live in SoCal, you got to get over to Aldix Home on Sepulveda in Van Nuys, or find them on the web at aldichome.com. That's A-L-D-I-K home.com. 
Staples Connect helps you protect your shipments and connect with customers with premium boxes and custom labels for every small business. Now buy two, get one free on shipping supplies. Plus get 20% off UPS Express shipping services. Offer N73. Visit staples.com slash shipping for details. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. There's problems on the 10. Santa Monica, westbound down to the 10 to 4. Bundy crash taking away two right lanes. causing a jam dump drive as you approach the 405. Problems ongoing in Downey as well. 5 north down before the 605. This crash has had all lanes shut down for several hours. Yeah, they are letting you through in the center divider so you can get past, but really heavy delay from Norwalk Boulevard. Crash in Rialto as well on the westbound down to the 210 before Ayala Drive. It's two right lanes that are blocked there, and you are seeing delays as you pass Pepper Avenue. Moreno Valley on the southbound down to the 215. Alessandro to Van Buren. Two right lanes closed by Southbound until around 2.30 this afternoon. Back up to Eucalyptus. KFI in the sky helps get there faster. I'm Robert DeBucky. This report is sponsored by In-N-Out Burger. At In-N-Out, we'll admit we're sticklers for a lot of things, like maintaining the highest standards with our fresh ingredients, striving to do what's right by our customers, and never, ever taking your loyalty for granted. Some may call us old-fashioned. We call it business as usual. I need to tell you guys about this incredible website I found. It's called Nuts.com. Who here doesn't like nuts? Nuts.com has pretty much every nut you could ever want. They have white chocolate toffee cashews, bourbon pecans, crystallized ginger, and honey sesame sticks. Now I know those last couple things weren't nuts, but nuts.com isn't just for nut lovers. It's your one-stop online pantry shop. They've got candies, the dried fruits, and pantry items like baking mixes, pastas, and more. Now I got my first order from nuts.com the other day, and my family tore through that box. I've never seen food disappear so quickly. Delivery? It's so fast, and most orders ship the same day. New Nuts.com customers get free shipping on your first order at Nuts.com. That's it. Just go to Nuts.com to get free shipping on your first order. That's N-U-T-S dot com, Nuts dot com. That commercial made me so happy. <laughs> Hey, are you still buying bottled water? Shame on you! Stop that! There's plastic. There's waste. There's the cost. There's the fact that you get in the car and drive to the store to buy water. I get it. I get it. But here's the solution, the real one. A life source whole house water system. You get delicious filtered water coming out of every faucet in your home the way it's supposed to. No trips to the store. No plastic, no filters, no maintenance. Life Source reduces the odor and taste of chlorine, which means your taste buds will love you, your skin, your hair, your pocketbook, because it costs less to put in a Life Source system than what you regularly spend on bottled water from the store. Everything is U.S. made. There's installation and support for the life of the system. If you're looking to join a growing team, by the way, LifeSource is hiring members in your area. Call them today. For the water, for the job, for both, I don't care. Call them. 800-334-5009. 800-334-5009. Or visit LifeSourceWater.com. LifeSource Water. Taste and feel the difference. In 1975, my family lived under the boot of communist Russia. Hello, I'm John McClellan, owner of Ruder Hero Plumbing. Communism was so oppressive that my dad, who didn't speak a word of English, left everything behind and immigrated us to America. I was only three years old. I can't imagine the courage it took to do that. My father put us first, and at Ruder Hero Plumbing, we put you first. That's why we always offer you an affordable solution. If you have a clogged drain, call us at 866 866- Drain 77, and we'll cable your line for only $77. That's 866-Drain 77. Thank you for trusting Ruder Hero Plumbing with your most valuable asset, your home. I miss my dad, but his sacrifice will never be forgotten. Happy Father's Day. CL 102-8886. Do you want out of your house for whatever reason? Selling a home usually means cleaning or painting, repairing, staging. So let me ask, what if you could sell your home for a fair price without any of that hassle? What if the buyer never had to walk through your house? What if you could sell that house without even an appraisal, paying no commission, paying no fees, and what if you could get cash? 
and get it fast, and I'm talking within 10 days or less. That is exactly what directbuyers.com does. They will buy your property now. Directbuyers.com is a local family-owned business. It's been in business since 1986. Do not sell your home until you talk to directbuyers.com. See what they can offer you. They give you a reasonable price, and they'll give you an honest, no-obligation offer. Go to directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com, call 844-242-SELL, 844-242-SELL, visit directbuyers.com. KFI AM 640. And I heart radio station. 24 news, more stimulating talk. I got my mind set on you. That guy was a beetle. George Harrison, right? That's George Harrison, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. KFI, Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, welcome home. Yeah. Yeah, I could win on Name That Too. Damn right I could. As long as the songs are ancient. <laughs> <laughs> like me. Oh, all right, we're talking trees today. We have been talking trees all morning. By the way, if you've missed any part of the program, uh, you know, you can uh, listen to the podcast just about an hour after we go off the air. Every Saturday and every Sunday, uh, uh, the show is uh, converted into podcast form, and boom, right there on the stream, available to you on the free iHeartRadio app uh, or Spotify or Apple Pie or wherever your favorite podcasts are found. You just search for home with Dean Sharp. That's all you have to do. Home with Dean Sharp and kaboom. Every show we've ever done, FYI, uh, hundreds of hours of home improvement tutelage for you. Tutelage. That's the word I just pulled out of my brain. Uh, mentoring for design, uh, everything uh, imaginable. How to fix a toilet and, you know, everything in between. Hundreds of hours, all arranged by topic, all waiting for you on uh, the House Whisper podcast. So there you go. Okay, let's uh, some final thoughts on trees. Man, I could spend the whole weekend talking about trees. Uh, maybe next time around, we're going to do just that. Uh, and so many emails and messages and uh, social media comments this morning about uh, trees. People either saying, yeah, 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 and uh, uh, others are like, no, let me tell you why I can't do it in defense. And you know what? You just It's falling on deaf ears. I want you to uh, seriously consider trees. Now, I, I, you know, trees are complex, and so uh, you need to do your homework. You need to get into it. You need to understand it better. You need to get some advice. Here's two other pieces of advice I'm going to give you before we're done today. Number one. As much as I love the corner nursery, you know, right down the block, right up there in town, you know, great little flats of annuals and small plants and things like that, uh, that's not where I go to buy trees, all right? Uh, for two reasons. Number one, uh, the corner nursery, uh, you're going to pay for the convenience of them being in town be, uh, in the sense that uh, they're priced uh, higher, especially their trees, priced higher than uh, they would be in other places, okay? Secondly, uh, you know, the corner nursery is not going to have uh, very large trees uh, at all, right? And, there, and if you've only ever shopped at, at the corner nursery, uh, then you probably are under the impression that, that uh, the only trees available to you are these little five-foot-tall uh, saplings with a trunk about an inch in diameter, and it costs $200. And you're like, um, Dean... Uh, I need something more than this, and clearly if that's $200, I can't afford a tree. It's probably giving you that impression, and that is a false impression. So I want you to lift your head up, get past the corner nursery, get out to uh, on the rural outskirts, and get to a wholesale nursery. Okay, A wholesale nursery has got various stages of uh, maturely developed trees. I'll even go so far, I'm going to name one. Uh, has been a sponsor of the show, not a sponsor of the show right now, but I will tell you this. Uh, in Southern California, Moon Valley Nurseries are uh, hands down 
the largest, uh, most prolific tree nursery. You know, don't go to Moon Valley for flowers. You go for trees, and you can get trees anywhere from that one-inch little sapling I was talking about to a 30-foot tall tree that comes in a five-foot square box that is ready-made to plant in the yard and everything in between. Everything from specimen trees all the way down to the little guys. So buy your trees in the right place. And one last piece of advice for you, because of all the things that I hear uh, about trees, it's like the roots damage something. The wall, the sidewalk, the, okay. There are very few species of North American trees that have exceptionally shallow roots. So why is so much damage being created? Because we don't know how to water our trees. If a tree is dependent on surface water in the yard from the sprinklers, guess where the roots are going? Out onto the surface. Roots go where you give them water to go. So when you plant a large tree ball into the ground, put in some, uh, uh, we always do this for every tree, at least two, sometimes three, uh, PVC drainage pipes laying in the side of the hole. So once the tree is in the ground, those drainage pipes have access to the bottom of the tree a root ball. And it's in those little pipes that we run our drip lines so that the water this tree receives when it's getting its critical early water, that water is beneath it, not out to the sides of it. Trees will grow roots where you give them water to go. The tree is not interested in just randomly putting roots out. It wants to go where the water is. You put the water down, the roots go down. That's all I'm saying. It's, a, it's just about that simple. So give that some thought. A lot to learn about trees, and we will attack this subject yet again in the future. Until then, my friend, uh, join me tomorrow on tomorrow's show when we're talking about outdoor kitchens and patios. Thanks again for spending the morning with me. It has been a privilege as always. Handle on the Law is up next. I'll be back tomorrow from 9 to 11. Whatever the plan is for this beautiful day, get out there and build yourself a beautiful life. everything we say. We're doing it wrong. KSI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio Radio app. Bike and scooter donation. I'm Andrew Caravella, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Five e-bikes and eight scooters have been donated to several struggling families in the Children's Hospital of OC Autism Program. I, myself, have a child who's on the...